Commission's board meeting Wednesday night, members took to the floor to discuss the final ballot design for the primary election. We're finalizing um, the ballot with the changes that was made and that the changes that were made and approved in the meeting t uh, last night and we will send it to the printer. The meeting was prompted after issues surfaced regarding how to place independent candidates on the primary ballot, which eventually was resolved through legislation. It was critical that the ballot design was approved in order to send out primary ballots under the Uniform and Overseas Citizen Absentee Voting Act by July 18th. The ballot design will feature three columns, one for Democrat, Republican, and Independent, each with one line for a write-in candidate. The board, meanwhile, changed the wording on the instructions of the ballot to be simpler and to ensure no crossover votes took place following over 4,800 crossover votes in the 2010 primary election. And while one issue has been resolved, another suggestion has been raised by incumbent public auditor Doris Flores Brooks. Brooks, who is seeking re-election in an uncontested nonpartisan race, has requested that GEC cancel her election in the primary for practicality reasons. Brooks says after learning how the current law requires GEC to print and tabulate a separate ballot for the public auditor race for every registered voter over 4,700 as of this month, she says canceling her election in the primary would save the government $1 per ballot. While it's only $50,000 there, every opportunity that we can avoid costs, this is to me an unnecessary cost for the people of Guam as well as for the voters of Guam. The GEC, meanwhile, has said its hands are tied on the issue because of specific sections of the Guam law. And while it exempts the primary election to be canceled where there are no contests in other races such as the mayoral, senatorial, and gubernatorial election, it doesn't apply to nonpartisan elections such as the public auditor race. She has since written Speaker Judy Wampet on the issue to amend the existing law to say whether any office go uncontested that they go directly to the general election. I think that would be a very practical area and it's just not for my position but any other position that is uncontested. GEC, meanwhile, has informed Brooks that as it stands, until and if lawmakers address the request, she will remain on the ballot. They brought up the history of the law that is in, in place now, so I will go back and look at it um, and just, you know, but we, know, we all know that based on the current law, we're, she's going to be in the primary election and the general election. Speaker Judy Wampet's office, meanwhile, tells KUAM that it's been in consultation with the Legislature Legal Council, who is requesting legal review of the law to come up with recommendations on how the legislature can move forward with this request. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Quintaniza.